Alright, this is just a little tutorial on how to make a, uh, a door pistons. Alright, so, see the lever over there? So, it's a lock. See how you can't, um, you can't step on the pressure plate and work. But, if you push that, now, it closes. Opens, closes. It's pretty simple. Um, showing it in a couple seconds, but that's, um, uh, it takes about, it takes quite a bit of area to do, but it's pretty cool. Alright, so here's how you do it. You start out with a lever, and it runs across and goes to three pistons. So power goes to all the pistons. Alright, remember the three right there. You need to keep in mind that there's doesn't actually you don't actually do need three but three underground but that's just how I set it up all right so it's easier to see all right so now you want to put in a piston all right all right so you set down your first piston top and you put down block all right all we're doing here is we're gonna set up the power so it goes to this piston so it goes down and if we turn on the lever it will go to have power going to all the pistons but when this one you'll see well this is the pressure plate this is what happens when you push on the pressure plate you'll see in a second get this done So, this is all you set up all the redstone here. Alright, so, truthfully, it doesn't really matter where you put the uh, redstone repeater in there. It's just, it's probably a good idea to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, basically, you just go up here, connect it to the pistons. Um, here, let me fill in the spots and everything. So you can see, but uh, that'll go to extend down here. Let me pull the lever there. All right. So now when it extends down, it'll stop the electricity. Let me put down all my stuff. Makes it look real nice. Yeah. Cover everything up like in my old building. All right. Um. Here we go. And there we go. All right. So set up the door. So now it doesn't really matter what you use for the door. It's just I chose that decoration because it kind of looks nice. Yeah, contrast. But see, closes, opens, closes, opens. Now, really simple. All you have to do is you have to put in a lock. And you ask me, how do you do a lock? Here, you have to turn off the power. You have to stop the power from getting through. So here's just a quick look at the lock. It's run with the piston, if, as you saw that. Alright. Doesn't open. And here it is. Pull the lever. Oh, crap. Pull the lever. Alright. And, bam. It opens. So, you go back over here. You can make it. It's as simple as that other function with the cord and the pressure plate and everything. Except this. Yeah, I mean, if you want to do it with, you can't do it with a pressure plate because then it would only be temporary, temporarily a lock, but with a lever it will stay for eternity, so, right, oh. shoot, alright, there we go, alright, wrong point, alright, so, ready, alright, so we erase all the blocks, and we are left with this. Alright, so, should you just cover everything up here? So, you can't really, well, not everything, but so you get the idea how to set it up. Alright, now, set up our, okay, see, so you can't do this right here. See that pulls down that piston over there. So 
But to take that out, you have to put it on the top so it gets to that piston and pushes it down. That's your lock. That stops the electricity from getting over to the piston over there. Um, that's basically it, truthfully. If you, can, you can see it right there. See how it's extended down? And it stops the electricity from getting through. So that's it. That's the simple the door that opens with the lock. You can do the lock on anything else, too, so that's about it.